Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a guide to the Dairy Productions Building and Farming Simulator 22. So we're going to go ahead and start into it. Uh, so first things first, well, we have to purchase a production facility. So um, the first way you can do that is if you go to the map, if you're playing on one where there is one, and I believe there's one on here. If I'm not mistaken on Elm Creek. I'm pretty sure Elm Creek has one. Could be wrong about that though. Aha, there's the dairy right down there. So if we jump down to the dairy, the first thing we can do is we can walk up to, if we walk around the building, we'll find it. Be an icon somewhere. There we go, went the longest way around to get to it. We walk up to this one, if I look in the upper left-hand corner, hit R, buy production plant. I can purchase it, so if I do buy this one, which I'm gonna go ahead and do, so I have purchased it. Um, if I go into my productions menu, which we'll talk more about down here, it'll show up in here. Um, but I actually don't really want this one because I have two down where we're gonna talk about. So how do you sell it if you buy one that's on the map? Well, if we go into, uh, actually, we can hit Shift P to go into the construction menu. Shift P. Um, I can hit Demolish. I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to get rid of it. Now it's forever gone. So it's gone from there. You can't place anything there because you don't own the land. Um, you can't buy the land there. So just be aware of that once you uh, get rid of something that's built into the map or that was on the map, um, it is gone forever. So there you go. That's the one way to do it. Now if we hop back down to uh, where we were at over here, where I have my two dairy production facilities. You can also go shift P or go into the store and get to the construction menu here. We'll go down to production facilities. We'll go to factories, which we're in right now. And there's a couple of dairies in here. The first one is, where are we at? Uh, we can find it in here. There we are, first dairy is right there. Um, 70,000 to buy, then if we go towards the end, we have another dairy right there for 70,000 to buy. They both do the exact same thing. It's just two different styles, and I have both those styles out here. So if I wanted to place that, I could place it, well, wherever I wanted to. We'll just place it um, out there. We'll see a place it out there, and I can also click on it, and I can sell it to get rid of that one. That one will be gone off the map for good. Uh, so there you go. That's how you get access to these facilities. Um, so after you get access to these facilities, what do you need to provide them, and what do they output? So the dairies will input. They will take in milk and sugar. They'll take in milk and sugar, and they will output chocolate, cheese, and butter. So those are the things you're gonna get out of your uh, out of your dairy. So those are the things you're gonna make here. So those are basically just those are the inputs and the outputs. Um, and we'll talk about how to get those in and what we're gonna get out and everything like that here in just a little bit. Uh, so now we're gonna talk about the productions menu, which is a couple ways to access it. First off, I can walk up to one of my dairies. I walk over here. Down in the bottom right hand corner is what'll tell you kind of how your dairy production is doing. But if I walk up to, well, I'll probably just get it from the outside here. Walk up to this guy, hit R, it's gonna bring me to that specific factory. Now notice I have two, so this makes it easier so you don't have to try to figure out which one is going. Um, but the other way you can go around that too as well, so if I go into the menu here, I can click on this dairy and I can rename it to be Dairy 2 if I wanted to do that. So now, once I go into the production menu here, I can see Dairy 2 is labeled up there and I have Dairy 1 here. Now the second way to go about it is, well, hit Escape and then scroll down to the bottom. Click on the conveyor belt icon, it'll take you to where all your uh, production facilities are. Uh, now notice I do have a sugar mill as well, it's because we need sugar as a material, so sugar is going to be produced by using the sugar mill. But if we go up here to the production menu, let's talk about a few things in here. So we're just going to talk about Dairy 2 because, well, they're both the same. So Dairy 2 again is going to produce butter, cheese, and chocolate, just as Dairy is. Um, so the butter, if we go over here to the production, Status is gonna be inactive, so I can activate that down here. I'm gonna turn it back off, but if I activate it, it's gonna say running, and then if it doesn't have the materials, which it does not in this case, it'll go to materials missing, so we're gonna leave it off for now. Um, then cycles per hour is two. That's gonna be two cycles, which is, this is a cycle, this is one cycle. So that means that every hour in game, it's gonna go this, do this cycle or this production cycle twice. Cost per hour is how much it costs when it's running. We go down here to the recipe. Again, this is the cycle. So it's going to take 150 liters of milk and produce 130 liters of butter. It's going to do that twice every hour. So 300 to 260 every hour. Now, if we go down to cheese, 75 liters to 50 liters, it's going to do that twice every hour. Chocolate, it's going to do it twice every hour, but it's going to take 50 liters of milk and 50 liters of sugar to give you 50 liters of chocolate. So those are the different products um, and recipes there. Now, if we go over to building storage, incoming materials, they all have sugar and milk, and here is the incoming material. So you can see they already have sugar because I've actually just gotten the sugar into them by using the distributing function on the sugar mill. So they already have sugar in them for production. And if you do use the distributing function in a factory, it will distribute equally to two different factories you have. You can see they both have the same number of sugar, or same amount of sugar. Now that's just gonna fill up. If that fills up, you can't put any more inputs in until they start to actually produce into something. Now down here, these are all your outputs. So they'll store up to a certain point, but butter, cheese, and chocolate. Now notice over here, it says storing right now. So 
Storing, and we're gonna talk about that first here in a second. Uh, what storing is gonna do is as this fills up, once it gets enough to create a full pallet, it will spawn a pallet of that product out here in this checkered area right here. And it'll keep doing that until it runs out of room. And once it runs out of room, it'll start storing it inside. And then as soon as you move a pallet, it'll spawn another pallet if it has enough and so on and so forth. It'll do that for all of these various products on here. Um, so just something to be aware of as far as that goes. So we're actually gonna go ahead and activate these guys. I'm gonna go up here for this one. I'm gonna activate the butter and the cheese, and I'm gonna activate the chocolate down here. Now notice they still need milk, so we're gonna get them some milk here in a second, but we're gonna try to get a pallet of each of these guys outside just so we can take a look at it. Now in order to actually input a product into the factory, very simple, if I hop into this guy right here which has some milk in the back, that little dump icon over there, I can just pull up to it. Just like that, it'll let me start overloading milk. You can see milk is draining out of there like that. And then the same thing for the other factory. So what I'm gonna do is put a load of milk in the other one, then I'm gonna fast forward some time and bring you guys back in when we have a pallet of chocolate, pallet of cheese, and a pallet of butter. So I'll see you guys here shortly. All right, so we have some pallets out here. Now, after a pallet spawned of any one of the resources, I went ahead and I, I just paused the production on it because we didn't want a bunch of pallets out here. But here's what a pallet of butter is gonna look like. You can't lift any of these pallets. Um, here's what a pallet of the cheese is gonna look like, which looks pretty awesome. Um, and again, you can't lift that, it wastes too much for you. Now if we go over here, this one's gonna have a pallet of chocolate for us, which there you go, pallet of chocolate right there. Can't move it, that's 1.1 tons. That's pretty, pretty heavy, that pallet of chocolate there. Uh, but there you go, so very cool. That's all of our pallets out, so that's what storing is gonna do. Now if we go back into that productions menu up here, that's what we wanted to change this to selling. We can change any of these to selling. Um, what that's gonna do is it's gonna, as it's slowly over time, it won't even wait until there's a full pallet in here, it'll just start selling that product. Now it won't, if you switch it to selling, it's not gonna sell stuff that's already spawned out here. So these pallets are locked out here. You gotta deal with them one way or another. Now, how does the selling work? Well, the, uh, the amount that you get for it changes depending on your economy mode. But in normal economy mode, if we go down here to, uh, well, any one of our products down here that we have, Let's see, we'll, we'll think about chocolate. So if we wanted to put the chocolate to selling mode, what it's gonna do is it's gonna sell it to wherever it finds the highest price at, but it's only gonna sell it for 60% of that value. So instead of selling it for $4,390 per liter, or per thousand liters, it's gonna sell it at um, $2,634 per thousand liters. So um, it charges a 40% delivery fee essentially in uh, normal. I have heard it's 60 some odd percent delivery fee in hard, and then there's much less of a delivery fee if one at all and easy. Uh, so just be aware of that. It does charge a delivery fee for you. Now, if we go back to our productions menu, let's talk about the next mode. If I change it over to distributing, what is that gonna do? Well, distributing is gonna take this product and move it further along the chain. So for example, butter is going to move along to the bakery and the chocolate is gonna stay right where it's at, just with the cheese. So cheese and chocolate are gonna stay right where they're at. So the butter is actually the only thing that has anywhere to go. So what happens if you have these two on distributing? Well, it essentially stores them inside this building until it gets full and then it'll stop the production. So it'll just keep storing the production um, kind of act that way as a storing mechanism for you if you have it on distributing. But that's all the different modes for you. Now, what do you do with these products? Well, we talked about butter. Butter can be made into cakes, uh, but otherwise you can just sell the products. So cheese and chocolate, chocolate sells pretty well. Um, and if we find cheese on here, cheese is also something you can sell to um, any of those products or any of those facilities on there. But there you go, guys. That is everything you need to know about the bakery and farming simulator 22. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.